as a child, I wanted to be an astronomer. I was fascinated with space. And then I found the film Inner Space very interesting because this was somebody journeying inside the human body. I guess I thought it was really interesting to discover instead of stars and galaxies, all of the different, you know, individual cells uh, in the body. And for me, this is really, really captured in studying human development, where every single cell is almost like discovering a new planet, a new, you know, solar system, a new galaxy. It's just incredible. It's such a rich experience. It's like a wonderful adventure. A very small, limited amount of material, you can begin to extract a lot of information, i.e. measuring the whole transcriptome profile from single cells, which, you know, has really informed us a lot. The problem with this is that you have to break the tissue apart, taking the cells off from its kind of natural environment, ultimately, losing that valuable information of where the cells are and regional variation of cells that may be the same types but located in different parts of the tissues. Take for example the hair follicle of the skin. You'll have keratinocytes lining all the way from the kind of like the top of the uh, epidermis which is the top layer of the skin all the way down to the bulk of the hair follicle and you won't get that information because if you've ripped the tissue apart Essentially, you can't tell where that cell has come from, and these regional differences would have been very difficult to detect. Some of the interesting um, areas that we are using spatial genomics, uh, particularly in human development, is in, in whole embryo analysis, whereby we can begin to take coronal sections of this precious material and actually profile the gene expression and being able to locate all of those cells that make up a human embryo uh, in situ. It will be the first complete atlas. The next challenge is really uh, almost having deconstructed tissue to identify what cell states, what gene expression profile those cell states have, is to essentially reconstruct the tissue, which we've done computationally, but the new uh, spatial genomics methods will enable us to profile in situ. And the complementary approaches of dissociating tissue and measuring it in situ will be extremely powerful, uh, allowing us to better detect architectural, regional, niche differences. Uh, that's going to be extremely important. Being able to really understand about what is actually going on at the cellular and molecular level in pathology would revolutionize medicine and how we approach treatment strategies and um, new therapeutic approaches. These constant innovations, they just add so much more depth and sensitivity.